Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for the prayer therapy session for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're still not joining us, what in the world are you waiting for? Come on, come join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as you join us, your lives will be transformed. You'll be healed, delivered, and set free in the name of Jesus. Today, I've brought you the prayer therapy session, and we are going to pray. We're going to pray uh, to get back some things that the enemy has taken from us. We are praying for restoration. Hallelujah. We are praying for divine restoration. Matthew chapter 18 from verse 18 says, Truly or verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they ask, it shall be done for them of my father, which is in heaven. Are you hearing the words of Jesus Christ? telling us that whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven, meaning whatever we say is not permitted will not be permitted. Whatever we say is disallowed is disallowed. And so this is why we pray, because we can legislate these things by the Spirit of God in prayer or through prayer. Hallelujah. And so today we are praying for restoration, that God will restore back everything that we have lost. Years that the canker worm, the palm worm, the locust and the caterpillar have stolen. Years that have been wasted due to ignorance, due to prayerlessness, due to, due to sin, due to lack of knowledge or wisdom, that God will restore back. And the session has begun. And so we're going to pray today. And we'll, I pray that you have come ready with your heart to pray. You saw prayer therapy. You probably thought we're just going to be talking. But we talk a little and we pray much. Hallelujah. And so therefore, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you grace for giving us grace to come into your presence today. Once again, you have given us the opportunity for another prayer therapy session. Thank you, Jesus, for continuing to teach us, to instruct us, to lead us, to guide us, that we may pray your will and not pray amiss. We give you praise. Be thou exalted forever in the name of Jesus. Once again, we ask, Lord, every sin that, that may create or have created a barrier between us and you. Father, break it down today. Forgive us, oh God. Cleanse us from it. Purify us. Sanctify us, soul, body, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, I have come as you have instructed to pray over your people. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that they take back everything that the enemy has stolen from them in the name of Jesus. Every blessing, every promotion, every advancement, every testimony that the enemy has stolen, by the power of the Holy Ghost. We take them back today in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that everything that ignorance and lack of knowledge and wisdom or prayerlessness are stolen from your people. Father, let them be restored back to them now in the name of Jesus. Let it be restored back to them now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Proverbs 20 23 and 23 says, buy the truth and do not sell it. Get wisdom and instruction. Get insight and understanding. Father, Lord, today we ask uh, that we have come into your presence. Give us wisdom. Give us instruction, insight, understanding in the name of Jesus that will cause everything that has been lost or stolen to be restored back in the name of Jesus. Oh, God of restoration in your mercy, restore Restore to us the years that have been stolen, the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, and the locusts have stolen. Ayabo Shatai. Restore back today in the name of Jesus. Restore back today in the name of Jesus. Years that have been wasted. Abu Shatai la basuka taila. Wasted in sin. Wasted living recklessly. Wasted living for the devil and not for God. Father, in your mercy. Abu Shatai. Not because they are worthy. 
not because of our self-righteousness, but in your mercy, you will restore those years in the name of Jesus. You will restore those years in the name of Jesus. You will grant your people speed, divine speed, divine speed to bring those things back to restoration that it would not even look like they lost anything. It would not even look, that history will be history. <laughs> you will do a new thing, Shataya, and they will be able to catch up and even excel above the people that have gone ahead of them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we ask Lord that you will return every lifetime verdict, every verdict of the enemy, every evil verdict, every evil pronouncement, every evil projection, every evil enchantment, every divination, overturn them by the power in the name of Jesus. To overturn means to abolish, to invalidate, to reverse, to cancel, to disallow, to nullify, to overrule or override. By the power in the name of Jesus, we ask that you do this, even in the lives of your people now, in the name of Jesus. Overturn every evil verdict concerning their lives. Overturn every evil pronouncement against their lives. Overturn every evil projection of the enemy against their lives. Overturn every enchantment and divination in the name of Jesus. My God. In the name of Jesus. Huh? There was a man at the pool of Bethesda. In John chapter 5, you know of the story. God did a mind-blowing miracle in his life. Jesus had to bring him out of 30, 38 years of stagnation, of failure, of shame, my God, of reproach. Today, I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord would do a mind-blowing miracle in your life, in your family, in your business, in your ministry, in your career, in your education, in the name of Jesus. May he put an end to stagnation and shame in your life in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare let an end come to reproach us from today in your life in the name of Jesus. May the Lord change that man's story. He rewrote every area of his life. I decree and declare that your story is changing us from today in the name of Jesus. May the good God of heaven rewrite every area of your life where the handwriting of the enemy has polluted your story. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare a change of story for you. A change of story for you. A change of story for you. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that man's destiny was wasting away for 38 years. It lost so much, so much sitting there and pity partying and, and giving excuse after excuse and perhaps he was truly helpless I decree and declare today that destiny help us that will help to who will help to lift you up from the place where you have been stuck to bring you to get you unstuck may God lead them into your life as from today in the name of Jesus may you be connected to them now in the name of Jesus may the favor of God get you unstuck and delivered and set free forever in the name of Jesus. Let there be divine restoration of every good thing that the enemy has taken from you, of even the things that you have lost in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Spirit of the living God. We cover these prayer points in the blood of Jesus, and we pray that there will be speedy manifestation, that there will be testimonies to follow in the name of Jesus, even as your people pray and receive with faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. We give you praise now for having answered, for you are the God who answers by fire in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen amen and amen God bless you thank you once again for joining me for this prayer therapy session if it has blessed you make sure you subscribe yeah don't just come and get the blessing subscribe it's free <laughs> it's free subscribe share like and leave me your comment and also join us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that is where we continue and we pray even 
more and longer than this and we hear the word of God as well and lives are being transformed because it is the vision and the mission of God so come join us he is beckoning unto you the time is now charge your prayer life get that fire back <laughs> in the name of Jesus God bless you and uh, yes another one is tomorrow so it's not even far tomorrow join us 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the prayer line. And I pray that you have a wonderful and a blessed rest of your week.